Hi everyone, I'm Dan and today I'll show you how to create a website on IGMS. So first you should click on the create button that's placed at the bottom right corner of the page. Then you'll see the list of our properties. You should choose what property you want to create a website for. A website can be created for a single one or for multiple ones. I'll choose like just several of them. All right, the website has just been created, so let's explore our website settings. Here we can enter some necessary information such as the, comp uh, the website name. Also, there is the list of our properties. We can feature some of them right here. I'll feature a couple of them. And upload a logo and the main image of our website. Here we can also enter the uh, name of our company, let it be the same, and our contact details. Mm -hmm. uh, here we can also choose the domain name for our website, so it will have our basic domain, uh, staycation.igms.com, I'll enter something like this. Okay, it's available. For those ones who use custom domains, there is another tab called custom domain. Here you can add your own domain and uh, it will work properly with our website and even an SSL certificate will be created for it. Uh, but I will not do this in this video because I don't have a custom domain for it. Also, if we, have, uh, if we use Google Analytics, we can do it. Here is a special tab for it. And let's choose five icon for our website. There is a list of them. Okay, once we finish here, we are ready to move forward straight to our website builder. Okay, so when you open our website for the first time, you see our default design template that you can customize the way you want. Uh, the very first tab below the header is the search tab that can be modified. Uh, its layout, content, search bar uh, itself, and its background image can be changed. Let me, show, uh, let me show you how we can do that. So we should click on the edit button. Here we are able to choose between preferred layouts. I'll leave the default one. Also here we can manage its content. Let's write something. Mm -hmm. uh, here we are able to choose what uh, search um, the search capabilities of this search bar. For example, if we don't want our uh, guests to be able to search uh, yearly or monthly bookings, we can just disable this option. So let's just disable some of the options. Also, we are able to choose uh, to upload custom background image for our search bar. Let it be this one. And change its background color. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, I like it. So let's, let's keep it the way it is. All right, so on the left side of our screen, we can see the structure of our page. It starts with the header, then there's the search bar we've just customized and the footer. Also, there's an option to add new section. Let's click on it and choose its type. Let's choose categories featured. Uh, speaking about this tab here, we have an option to choose if you wanna show the property types we have. It's relevant for those ones who have multiple properties like houses, apartments, cabins, and etc. Or we can choose the featured properties. Let's choose this uh, because I featured a couple of them in, in the beginning of this video. Uh, as well as with the search bar, we are, we are able to customize its title, the most popular ones as an example, and write something about it. Again, just for a match, let's 
adjust its background color. All right, so as for adding removing pages, uh, we have a menu on the left side that starts with the Pages tab. Let's click here. Here we can see the list of our pages and we can add or remove some of them. Let's click on the Add New Page button and choose our page type. Let it be this one. Mm, and let's give it a name. Create. So here we have the second page. And uh, as well as the main page, we can customize this one by clicking on the tab, then clicking on the edit option and modifying its content. In case you want to change the, uh, to modify the header or the footer, you should click on the pages tab, back to, uh, go back to the main page and open the layout section. So here we can see the layout of our page and there is uh, an option to edit our header. Speaking about the header, so if we have uh, two or more pages, we are able to add them here so our guests can find them. Let's show how we can do that. So there is the button. We click on the cheer sign. Here we can give it a name. Let's let it be the name of our page. And when uh, choosing tab type, choose page and choose your page, the second one. Okay, this is how we create links to our pages. All right, speaking about the settings. So there is the third tab called settings. Here uh, we can change the color of the buttons, icons, fonts, and etc. Also, we have an option to choose a theme of our website. We may choose between black and white themes here. But let's keep it white. So this is how you can uh, change the color of all buttons you have. And it will be affected uh, on all websites. So this was pretty much it. As you can see, it was very simple and fast. Of course, we could do more, but the video is short. So let's save the changes we have. Okay, it was changed. Then we go here. Search for our websites. As you can see, we have a lot of them. And click on the preview button. All right, so let's see the final result. Here is the website we've just created with its search bar, with the feature tab, with the footer that we didn't modify this time, and uh, with the articles page we added to the header. If we want to come back to the home page, simply click on the logo we uploaded. All right, so let's try to make a reservation using this website. Mm -hmm. Let's check some dates. So as you can see, these are the available ones. Click on the search button. The website shows us the property that's available for the dates. Let's click on it. Here we can see uh, the property's photos, its description, house rules, and other details. Let's book it now. So here our guests can enter their information, such as first name, last name, email, phone number. Let's do that. Agree and continue. And here we can see the payment page. Once the guests uh, enter their payment information and proceed with the payment, the booking will be confirmed. Okay, let's close this window. So as you can see, it was a very simple task to create such a website and it's very easy for your guests to navigate here. So I hope this video helped you to figure out how this tool works. And I want to say thank you for watching this video and see you next time. Bye.